Good evening and welcome to the Summer Center here in Copeland Court of Buffalo University where we have the second of our Division II District semifinal matchups. In this one, the Liberty Bend Eagles, they have the number 11 ranked team in the state with a 21-3 record. They were 9-0 in conference play, the Blanchard Valley Conference, and their matchup opponent, the Shawnee Indians. They were 17-6, and they were 6-4 in the Western Buckeye League. My name is Mark Shine. It's my pleasure to be played by Blake. I do a color commentary, Deb Shank. Deb, a lot has been written about Liberty Bend. They have gone from Division Three to Division Two this year. Had a great year, and Shawnee got to the district semis, and now it's an interesting matchup for this team tonight. Um, when you're just looking out here at the players, you can see quite a size difference. First of all, Liberty Benton's got four girls over six foot. Um, they're going to be bringing a, a big arm in Kar Karis Willow, who's headed to Penn State next year. She's player of the year in the BBC for last year and this year. She's a tremendous player. So the um, defense for Shawnee has its work cut out for them. Shawnee is coached by Brooke Hutchins. They have a first team, uh, actually two first team all-conference players from the Western Buckeye League that was announced this week. Grace Freiberger and uh, the Kelly Cooper were the uh, first team all-conference players for them. You mentioned Karis Willow, player of the year. Lauren Gerken was a first team player in the Western Buckeye League in the, excuse me, the Blanchard Valley Conference. Claire Spies was second and Katie Collard and Sophia Barber were third. So a lot of uh, big name players this evening for both conferences. And Kelly Cooper's going, she's, uh, she's the mainstay for Shawnee. So that's who Liberty Benton's going to have to concentrate on because she's she's got 282 kills leading the team and uh, they're going to be relying on her. Let's uh, clarify one thing. Our stat numbers we will give you this evening. Liberty Benton's are for all uh, 24 of their matches. Shawnee's are for just the regular season matches. And then that, not the ones that they have uh, accumulated in the tournament as well. Those are the numbers that were given to us. Here's the libero to serve. That's Freiberger. That hit was by Nestrick. And that was hit over by Kelly Cooper. Karis Willow from the back row leaves it short and Shawnee scores first. Grace Freiberger, the 5'7 junior, will serve again. Rolled across by Hanny Wells. That's blocked. It popped up in the air by Freiberger. Roll shot by Hutchins, a freshman. And then that kill attempt was by Gherkin. Well, somebody was in the net, I guess not. Good Gherkin again. There's a set again by Maxwell. And they put it away, there's Cooper. Shawnee 2-0. Two points, Kelly Cooper. Vibrator again. Kelly Cooper at 5'10". The tallest player listed roster-wise, anyway, by the Indians. There's Nestrick, who's shooting outside the antenna. So the first three points go to Shawnee. The winner will get St. Mary's. We'll talk about that some as we get through this particular match. And that serve goes into the net. Liberty Benton has the first point. In the serve will be Caitlin Erdeljack, 5'5", five, five, junior, back row player. One of the dark uniforms for both schools tonight. That point goes. 4-1 Shawnee. Liberty Benton is on the left. They have uh, black tops but blue shorts and blue numbers. Shawnee is on the right of your screen. They have the black uniforms, black shorts, and white numbers. So. Both teams' libero is wearing white today. And there's Karis Willow, picks up the Freiberger. And then Spies plays it over, that's Block. And Willow again. That time a little bit off balance, and Shawnee leads 5-1. I'm not sure if that was a block or if it was the net. Exactly. Either way, Karis a little off yeah. balance with that. Yeah, she was falling backwards. Served by Hutchins. Tipped over by uh, Gherkin. 
Cooper shot blocked for a point Liberty Benton. And the serve will be Lauren Gherkin, who about uh, 10 days ago announced she was going to go to the University of Toledo. Now, she is just a junior. That will continue her academics and athletics to play basketball. There's a kill. That goes to Cooper. Kelly Cooper off to a really good start. Yes, she is. She's swinging well and uh, putting the ball straight down. They're not returning it. Here's Maggie Jordan. She will wear number 19 and serve. She's a sophomore. Also in with Sydney Burris, also a sophomore. 6-2. Whoa, shot blocked. This is bumped over by Spies. That's blocked. Willow got that one, sends it back. This is Hanny Wells to serve. Alyssa, just a junior. Now Liberty Benton uses two setters. They so. do. Yep. Hanny Wells went a long ways to get that one. Ball's tipped to an open area, but missing the sideline. 6-4 now, Shawnee. As you were saying, Deb, Henny Wells, when she is in the back row, she hits the ball into the net. When she is in the back row, she is a setter, but when she's in the front row, then Jada Todd comes in. That's right. Jada Todd has 392 assists, and Hanny Wells has 306. Pretty evenly spread out. They are. Cooper serves. And? He's calling a double. Yeah. Shawnee has Liberty Benton doubled up 8-4 early on in the first set. Cooper serves again. Ball was played over by Lindsey May, and then the ball ends up being a point for Liberty Benton. That was Kyra Vermillion. Here's Karis Willow to serve. Deb said a Penn State commit to play volleyball there. A kill attempt was by Vermillion. Wells will set Willow in the back row. They're going to, Spies is going to get across comes. and they keep it alive on a Sydney Burris' kill. Willow again from behind the 10-foot line. This will be Nestrick. Riley's shot goes across, just dumped over by the center. Here's Nestrick again, and that time she puts it away. 8-6. That was a nice rally. Good play both sides. Caraswello will serve. Step was by Vermillion. It was blocked. I think Sophia Barber got it. We did matches a, a week or two ago with Lipsick and uh, Tiffin Calvert, and Sophia Barber was a blocking machine those two nights. And the center, Addison Maxwell, just pushes it across, and they get a point. 9 7. Shawnee. This is Maxwell to serve. Kenny Wells sets, and Nestor puts it in the block of his play. And then attempted to kill it with Kelly Hutchins. But Liberty Benton gets the point. Here's Claire Spies to Libero. 26 aces for her this year in 24 matches. Kill with Jeff that time put away by the freshman Hutchins. Nice down the line shot. 10 8. Carver de Santiago will enter, one of the two seniors on the roster for Brooke Hutchins. 
Both of these teams are pretty young, just three seniors for Liberty Benton. Couple of big hits that time by Gherkin. Spies went and got that one. Henny Wells That's popped it up here, yeah. One of the things the officials look for, did you get your feet set? And when she did, it was... And, become, and she brought it up from her yeah, chest. It became a pretty easy call when you try to watch if the feet are set or not. Here's Nestrick. Played by Freiburg to keep it alive. And that kill goes to Katie Minus. 12-8, four-point lead, Shawnee. Timeout, Liberty Bet. Timeout, WOSN. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Scoreboards presented by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Early on, our scoreboard shows Shawnee with 12, Liberty Benton with 8, hence the timeout by Julie Todd. The Santiago will serve, Kenny Wells will set, and Gurkha just pushes it across. Maxwell sets. That's blocked. Lauren Gherkin takes her six-foot frame up and sends it back. In the serve is Jada Todd. She will now set from the back row, and Kenny Wells will become a front row player. That's blocked. Gherkin got another Same one. Same thing. Riley Nestrick and Lauren Gherkin going to split that one. Nestrick listed at 5'9", but uh, appears taller. <laughs> yeah, if, I'm, if she's 5'9", I'm 5'10". Well, Willow has to play that one. Goes all the way across the net. Spies is going to set. This will be Riley Nestrick. That's in there, in the corner. Since the timeout, the last three points have gone the way of the Eagles. Here's Todd to serve again. Off the side of her hand that time. And that ball, was, the kill goes to Montes. Still playing. They're playing on. I, what it. happened? Well, they called it a pancake. Uh, they said she got it up, huh? Yeah, that's what they said. And there's Gherkin. That's the first kill for Gherkin. She'll have a few more. Tied at 12. Maxwell will set. And that kill put away by Polly Hutchins. That is one nice looking freshman. She has a very nice approach and powerful swing. That she does. The Schreiberger. Who serves? There's Gherkin in the middle, and that's blocked. Gherkin gets another hit. And Maxwell sets Cooper, but gets it to Todd. Not good enough. 14 12. So Karis Willow plays a mean back row, too. She's six foot four, but that just means she can reach farther and longer than most people. Coach Todd told us uh, earlier this year, Deb, that a lot of teams like to serve the Karis to think it wears her out. Uh, well, they have not done a very good job of wearing her out. They're not going to wear her out. <laughs> she has 277 digs this year. That's still alive. Keep playing. Liberty Benton thought they had a point. Annie Wells hits it to the back row. Cooper hits. Annie Wells again. And that's out. Oh, it, is. it is. Shawnee on a four-point run since it was tied at 12. Freiberger serves to Willow. Gherkin pushes it to the back row and gets a point.
Caitlin Erdeljack will serve. Hutchins gets it to Freiburg, and his free balls it over. They pancaked that one too, and Willow hits it again. Everything. Yes, sir, that's three of them. Spies will set Willow again. There's her first one. 14 16. First kill for Willow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cooper. Wow, big hit that time from Kelly Cooper. She hits the ball hard. Puts her team back up three. This will be Hutchins to serve. Well, uh, Gherkin. This is Lauren Gherkin to serve. Cooper hits it off the blockers to score. Kelly Cooper having a big first set. She is. I have her for six kills already. Maggie Jordan served this ball. Willow. I started looking up adjectives. How about emphatic? Is that, yeah. is that one we can use on this one? That one had an exclamation point there on it. There we go. Henny Wells to serve. Cooper. There's the block. They blocked it out of bounds that time. Oh, it was blocked out. Didn't get the hands pointed towards the middle of the floor. 1916 Indians. Cooper to serve. Willow just tips it that time. Nice diving play, Hutchins. Going to call that for He's a long time. Call down. that a push. Yeah. yeah. The ball cannot rest in your fingertips and palm. Yeah. You can't keep catch it behind your head and then still have contact when it goes forward. That will be the second Liberty Benton timeout. This time they trail by four as they did the first time. TV 44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation in any size. It's a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day, and you can visit WTLW.com. Timeout, Eagles, their second timeout. Opening set. So far going the way of the Shawnee. Last time we had a timeout, Eagles scored four consecutive points, but then Shawnee scored four consecutive, and that's where we're at right now. Well, Shawnee's definitely riding an emotional high here, so let's hope they can carry it carry it through. Shawnee got here with sectional wins over Van Wert and Defiance. Both of those were 3-0 victories. Liberty Benton got here by bidding through to Rogers and Maumee, also 3-0. Here's Cooper to serve again after the timeout. And he will sets Willow. Cooper got that one, kept it alive. They free ball it over. Barber tips out of the middle and gets a point. 2017 as Willow goes back to serve and Nestor comes in to play the front row. All of Karras's hits have been cross court. They've set up for that, so she might have to change things up a little bit. Karras Willow. Annie Wells sets in the middle of the block. Spies will set this one. There's Nestrick. That's blocked. Charlie doing a good job at the net in this set. And that uh -huh. hit goes long on the effort by Maggie Jordan. 2018. Knocks 
They will set again. That one's blocked. And he well sets. That kill out of the middle was that to Barbara again? Oh, yes. was Sophia. Yeah. Yet another six footer. And going down line for the kill is Kyra Vermillion. And Shawnee's mixing up their shots more so than Liberty Benton is, so it's making it more difficult for them to dig. There's a setter, Addison Maxwell, to serve. 17 aces for her on the season, the regular season. Albert just tips it over that time. Speech played that one. Hanny Wells kept alive. Here's a set. Willow from behind a 10-foot line. She just pokes it across and gets a point. Oh, 21-20, Shawnee. Claire Speech to serve. 5-5 five, five senior, libero. And he wells will set Gherkin in the middle. And Wells sets up Vermillion who gets a point. Good observation, Deb Shawnee. Seems to be a little bit more diverse where they want to put the ball. They are. They're, they're going cross. They're going hard angle. They're going down line. They're going all over the place. There's Sydney Burris to serve with her team up two. And Gurkin puts it away. 22-21. Jada Todd will enter. She plays, replaces Katie Collard. Collard plays the front row. Todd plays the back row. Here's Jada Sir. Out. Carly Hutchins missed that time. It was tied at 22. Shawnee will take a timeout. I'm looking back over my play sheet, Deb. I cannot find an eagle lead in this set. No, they haven't been ahead. They've got 12, 12 all once. They've been tied a couple times. They were yep. tied 1-1, one, one, I think. And then they got it. Yeah, it was tied at 12, and now they've got it back tied at 22. This is uh, Coach Brooke Hutchins' first timeout. We are tied at 22. And that lead has faded away, so she needs to get them back up. They've got to pick up everything that's hit and just keep the ball in play. The winner will be in here Thursday night at 6 to play St. Mary's. St. Mary's defeated the number two seed, Salina, tonight in five wonderful sets. Salina won the first set 25-19, and then St. Hard Mary's 25-13. Uh, Salina 25-21, then the last two sets went to Salina, uh, to St. Mary's, St. Mary's 25-18, 18-16, 18-16 in set five. That's blocked by Gherkin, and Gherkin gets set and just tips it, but Hutchins gets it. Andy Wells got it in, and for the first time, looking at that lead at 23-22. Oh, if she had just pushed that to the other corner, she would have found a bare floor. That kill will go to Katie Ekmanis. And we're tied at 23. First one at 25, win by two. There's Grace Freiberger to serve. And Gherkin has a contact with the net, so her team has off the point. And they will try to serve out the opening set with Caitlin Erdeljack doing the serving. We'll go to Cooper. Her shot's blocked, kept alive. Cooper hits it again. That's blocked. Freiberger gets to it. And it goes into the net. And the opening set. Liberty Benton comes back from two four-point 
Jefferson to take the opening set, 25-23. Set two coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Opening match, opening set of this match went to the Liberty Benton Eagles, and Deb, you pointed out some really interesting stat things on that one. If you look offensively, the kills, the hitting errors, all of that was pretty even. Both had one service error. No, no aces. The big difference in that was blocking for points. Shawnee did a lot of blocking, but Liberty Benton had a plus five in blocking for points, and that makes the difference in the game. You talked about emotion early for Shawnee. They led all the way through that. Liberty Benton's first lead was at 23-22, and we'll see if Shawnee can, can gather that uh, emotion back up again and get going after a disappointing set. They're going to have to keep that emotion and keep that intensity to beat this team. They're just, they're physically outmanned. It's going to take playing over and above what they usually play in order to win this match. You can see the St. Mary's ladies watch the first set. They're headed for the door and we we'll get some rest and be back here on the Thursday evening to play the winner of this match. That will be at 6 p.m. here. And for Liberty Benton, I'd say if you want to take the wind out of the sails of that team across the net, vary the attack because they're pretty predictable right now. We're headed to set two. We're also headed to the uh, season 18 of the Sports Report. We've got a lot of playoff football action we'll have for you this Friday night. So join Patrick Cameron at 10 p.m. on WTLW. Jada Todd will be the server to begin set number two. He just joined us. Liberty Benton is on the left of your screen, and Shawnee is on the right. Both teams wearing black shirts this evening as Lauren Kirkland puts the first ball away. Eagles. Jada Todd to serve again. 5-5 five, five senior. Ten aces for her on the season. It's kind of floated over right there. Maxwell will set. And the ball will be hit long by Katie Marcus. First two points go the way of the Eagles. That kill went to Vermillion. Grace Freiberger serves. The libero, she gets an ace. Grace ties it up at two. That's the first ace of the match. And she had 52 during the regular season to lead Shawnee. First team Western Buckeye League players a junior. Gherkin. And she clobbered one into De Santiago. Goodness. Sometimes they just come so fast you yeah. can't react. Good to see Kyra is okay. It was quite the shot she took. In fact, official kind of called her over to make sure you're okay. Our officiating crew, Bob Bidlax on the stand, Sue Kramer is our R2 today. Our line judges are Denise Dillsaver and Roger Hefner. Maxwell back set. She hasn't attempted a kill from that side of four yet, has she? No, not from the right side, and she went line. So maybe they're trying to There's your, change it up a yeah, bit. Yeah, diversification you talked about a moment ago. Kayla Earljack serves. And Carly Hutchins missed the sideline that time as she tried to go cross court. Well, she did better when she was hitting it hard. Took a little off that one, didn't yeah, she? she? Yeah, she did. Earl Jack serves again. Cooper. And that time they got a point as they go to their first team All-Western Buckeye League players, Kelly Cooper. She gets a couple of those. She'll fire her teammates back up. It's Hutchins to serve. Karis Willow. 
6-3. Kara set two records this past week. She broke the single season skill record by Kerrigan Gray. 423, Kerrigan set that in 2015. That, kill, that, that attempt goes long. Karras had 463 kills before tonight. She also beat the career kill record set by Izzy Granger, who in her four years had 1,302 kills. As that serve goes into the net, we switch sides with the ball. As he played from 2018 to 2021. I can't remember. She's playing in college, and I can't remember uh, where she to, went. Uh, went to Toledo to play. She's at Toledo. This is Karis Willow. Ryberger makes a great play. And the ball was blocked on Cooper's attempt. Eagles. Eagles. And the Indians doubled up at 8-4 in set two as Alyssa Hanny Wells serves. Timeout, Shawnee. We're going to break also. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Finley Truck and RV scoreboard shows Liberty Benton with eight. Shawnee with four. That's the timeout, Indians. This will be Karis Willow. Pushes it to the back row, and she will get a point out of it. Point. Eagles. That was just smart. Just pushed it to the back row and made somebody dive and couldn't make a play on it. Here's Handy Wells to serve again. Cooper on the back set. And Kelly Cooper gets a point. Point. She's racking them up. Kelly's got nine kills. We are very early here in set number two. Now Kelly will go to the back row and serve. Block. Uh, blocked in. in. All right. Good block that time. The Max, Addison Maxwell, the setter, got that one. Kyra Vermillion helped her out. Okay. Two of them there. Cooper to serve again. 10-6 now, Liberty Benton. Point, Eagles. That means that Nestrick enters when Willow goes back to serve. Here's Karras. Maxwell bumps it over. And kill out of the middle by Sophia Barbara. Point, Eagles. 11-6. Vermillion. Willow will set. Good save by Hutchins. And Nestor hits it to Flyberger. Back row hit. That was good hit by Hutchins for the back row. Nestrick again, another play by Freiberger. And then kind of one of those funny bounces that ends up being a point by Katie Power. 12 6 Eagles. That point goes to Sydney Burris. 12 7. Here's Addison Maxwell. 584 assists for her in the regular season. And that's going to be a point. 12 8. Shawnee has not scored more than two consecutive points in this set. I'm trying to right here. Maxwell will set Freiberger from behind the 10-foot line. Right, and Nestrick goes across court. Freiberger runs it down. And it goes out. 
Sidney Burris made an effort at it after a great play by Freiberger, but couldn't keep it in play. Six, six inches too much. I'm a fan of big libero play, and I think that's why I'm going to be a fan of Grace Freiberger. Yeah, she's, she's doing a fine job in there. Willow has to play that one on the hit by Hutchins. This is Spies. Hutchins gets it off of Hanny Wells. Carly Hutchins. 13-9. In the serve will be Kyra de Santiago. Kirkland just pokes it over. Lester kept alive and then gets the hit. Back set Hutchins. Kirkland shot block. Right back by Kyra Vermillion. The timing by Kyra. He needs trail by three. Freiberger makes another good play. He just free balls it over. Hanny Wells will set. Riley Nestrix block. Spies has to play that one. That's and, a double. Yep. And we go contact. Shawnee is not getting a whole lot of blocks for points, but they're getting soft blocks on just about everything, so that, that helps their back row dig the ball and, and get, make a playable dig. Kenny Wells will set Gherkin behind the 10-foot line and she puts that away. Yeah, Karras can hit from everywhere. Here's Todd will enter. Hutchins hit it. Oh, it was out. Out. I looked at the wrong line, Judge. The sideline said it in, and they should have looked at the, at oh, the back yeah. line who called it you, out. You get conflicting signals. That hit yeah, the antenna. Yeah. Well, on the push a shot attempt, Kyra Vermillion pushed it into the antenna. 16-11, Liberty Benton. Champions of the Blanchard Valley Conference. Sixth consecutive time. And Gurkha hit that to Vermillion. Yeah, don't overpass to this team. 17-11. They've won 61 consecutive matches in the Blanchard Valley Conference. That's 60. hardly fair. <laughs> <laughs> How about that. Eighteen eleven. Todd to serve again. She served four consecutive points. There's an overpass, and what do we got? Back row block. Your setters there again. Eagles. So the setter had her hands above the height of the net. Yep. And then they hit it over, and her hands were still there, so that makes her an illegal blocker. Hutchins. There you go. So Shawnee breaks a string, cuts it to seven. They need to run a points here. Gurkha. 2012. For Caitlin Erdeljack in to serve. She missed long. Point, Indians. staying seven behind. They need a run here. This is Kylie yeah. Vermillion. Carly Vermillion. I need to at least Hutchins. get three or four back yeah. here. Carly Hutchins. Oh. And Lauren Durkin is having a big set. Yes, she is. That's five kills for this set. Lauren will now serve. 
Yeah, it's sitting right in front of us. Probably listen to everything we say. <laughs> One of the really good guys in high school athletics. Paris Willow just roll shots at that time. Freiberger got down and got that one. And they weren't expecting it. Nine point lead. Timeout this time. Shawnee. Our Finley Truck and RV scoreboard has the Indians trailing in this set by nine at 22 13. What questions do you have about life and about God, about things happening in your community or family? Get answers when you watch Life Questions. Each week, four local pastors will discuss relevant topics and answer questions submitted by people just like you. Life Questions is on TV 44 Sundays at 1.30 and Wednesdays at 9.30. You can find it online at WTLW.com. Been all the uh, Eagles this set, hasn't it? Pretty much. Um, their offensive firepower is wearing the Indians down a little bit. It was tied at two, and since that time, the Eagles have really kind of taken over. They've had uh, runs of three and six, and now they're on a run right now with uh, Gherkin about to serve. And the Indians are out of timeout, so they're going to have to pull something out of their hat quickly. Okay, here we go. Lauren Gherkin to serve. plays that. Cooper on the block. Oh, blocked by Sophia Barber. And a with a little help from Melissa Handy Wells. Uh, LB, two points from taking set two. Hutchins played the ball was right on the sidelines and we were at set point. It's one of those you got to play, Deb. You can't let it fall. Yeah, if you're not sure, you have to play it. Here's Gherkin trying to serve out to this set for her team. And. Okay, we're talking about something. Well, we sent the captain over, as you're supposed to do. That would be Addison Maxwell. We don't just yell across the floor. They want a lineup check, don't they? Yeah, that's what they're doing. Don't course, have any timeouts. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Everybody's in alignment. This is just a way to make, uh, try to kill the momentum a little bit. Yeah, we have no timeouts. You can tie your shoe. Remember in the old days where I used to lose contact lenses? Yes. You know, guys who didn't have contact yeah, lenses would lose contact lenses. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. That is true. Yeah. That is true. Here's Gherkin trying to serve out the set. Cooper hits it into the block. Blocked again, and that point will go to the Van Eagles, and they will take set number two, 25-13, step three coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Liberty Benton takes the first two sets. The first one was 25-23, the second 25-13. Do you have some stat numbers from that second set to stand out there? Uh, yeah, Karis Willow and Lauren Gherkin have taken over for Liberty Benton with seven kills, ten kills, respectively. And now the blocking again. Blocking, blocking, blocking for points. Um, Kelly Cooper's carrying Shawnee with nine kills. A lot of help from Carly Hutchins with four, but I, I gotta say I agree with you. Addison Maxwell diving all over the floor. She's keeping the ball up and playable for the Indians, and they just have to keep blocking and slowing it down so she can. And they come right out with Lauren Gherkin hitting the ball long, so Shawnee will get the first point here in this set. Pretty important for Shawnee, I think, to have a good start in this set. Yeah. Get that momentum back they had earlier. Nestrick shot was into the tape. And then Gherkin hits it to Freiburger. Look at her dig that ball up. 
Hutchins gets that shot block. Here's Freiberger to set. Gherkin keeps it alive. And it's a free ball. Take advantage. Hutchins hits it there through you the go, block. Off there the you block. Go. Carly Hutchins. A well played point. And her team leads 2 0. That's the intensity they're going to have to play with for 25 points. Overpassed by Willow, but still keeping it alive. That was Handy Wells hit it over. It's, it's Flyberger. Gurkha just tips it that time. Oh, that's too bad. Me. Miss Freiberger's going to be tired tomorrow. <laughs> and sore. Yes. She's taking some hits tonight. But She's hitting the floor big time. And she has really played well. Caitlin Erdeljack will serve this ball. That's blocked by Gherkin. Tied at two. Point, Eagles. Paris Willow, 6'4", Katie Collard, 5'10", Lauren Gherkin, 6'0", Sophia Barber, 6'0". They just keep bringing them at you. Yes, they do. There's always six-footers in the front row for the and Eagles. And somebody's in the net. It looks like it was a Shawnee Indian. Point, Eagles. Rodney Nestrick is listed at 5'9", and I think that's a little short. <laughs> at least she plays bigger than 5'9". Let's put it that way. Yeah, We're tied can, at three. She can get up in the air anyhow. This will be Carly Hutchins, 5'9", freshman to serve. She has 35 aces in the regular season. Karis Willow. Hello. 4-3. With Gherkin in the back row. It's important that Shawnee doesn't allow any runs here. Cooper just tips it. Willow keeps it up. And then Karis Willow hits it down. 5-3, Eagles. And they keep it alive on the play by Ed, Ed Midas. And we're going to get put a long contact. Oh, throw. Yeah. Sophia Barbara caught with her hand in the cookie jar. Now she doesn't like that call. She's evidently gotten away with that all year. Here's Maggie Jordan to serve. Maggie is a sophomore. Karis Willow tips it to the open area. And they were back waiting on a bomb coming from her. She's just, there aren't enough words to explain what kind of player she is. Hanny Wells serves. Spies gets to that ball. This is Willow. Freiberger free balls it over, and she's going to get a point out of it. Kind of caught him flat-footed. Hit him where they're not type thing. Here's Kelly Cooper to serve. Seven five. Point. Eagles. Willow to serve. Nestrick in. Watch out. 8-5. Willow again. Freiberger runs it down and keeps it in play. And Jordan hits it over. And he wells. Sets up Katie Collard for the point. 9-5. A lot of weapons. And they're all over the floor. Hanny Wells and Jada Todd have a good job of mixing it up. 
You know, I was about to say, Deb, for as, as well as Kara Flora does everything else, she doesn't have a whole bunch of aces. But that time she wound up putting hot top spin on it. That was a great serve. Yeah, she hasn't been using the top spin jump right. serve that she can do. So it's going to be added again. Freiberger got to that one. Keep it alive. Freiberger tips it over. And Sophia Barber put it out of bounds. Our good friend Chris Luthold says a lot of high school girls can't uh, do that, that top spin serve because it causes shoulder situations. It might. It might. Although I've seen some pretty powerful ones. Bob goes into the tape on the effort by Nestrick. Shelly Haggerty from Defiance. Another 6'4 girl. She knocked a girl out with her top spin. Wow. Here's Addison Maxwell. What do we got? I don't know. Denise is Denise, chasing something down. Uh, Dill Saber, the line judge, had something that was uh, causing an issue and take, took care of it. Burger plays a hit by Barbara. And then Hutchins. Oh. He's got a touch. Got it. Yep, got a okay. touch. He gets a point. 10-8. Here's Maxwell to serve again. Shawnee trying to even up set number three. Willow from behind a 10-foot line block. Right back at him by Kyra Vermillion. 10-9. Nice block. Maxwell will set. And set again. The million hits it off of Willow with tied at 10. There's Maxwell to serve again. She served four points in this run. Willow had to track that one down. Spies is going to set Nestrick. Touch. Yes, it was. I was looking for the call. Touch Shawnee, so the point will go to Liberty Benton. And Claire Spies will serve. 270 digs this year in her libero position. This shot is blocked by Collard. 12-10. Maxwell will back set. Willow got to it. Now Hanny Wells will set. Next trick with a tough angle, yeah. I like the teamwork, though. Willow says, I got it, so she could pass the ball to the setter. And Hanny Wells didn't have to play it, but uh, on the initial hit. But the ball went out of bounds, so Shawnee gets the point. Gherkin just tips it over, but they get to it. And then Vermillion hits it. And Spies is going to free ball it. It's out. Yep. The hit was by Katie Antwantis. Went out of bounds. They're tied at 12. Willow just tips from behind the 10-foot line. Freiberger got to it. And Vermeer is out of bounds. Now they were a little bit out of system that time. Scrambling. Here's Jada Todd to serve. Blocked out of bounds Out. by Durkin. Yep. Tied at 13. There's Freiberger. Nearly an ace. 
Annie Wells will play that one. And then Durkin, they keep it alive. Nope, got to the floor. 14-13. Caitlin Erdeljack will serve. I do have to say, I think I've seen more pancakes in this match than I've seen <laughs> yeah, all year. Yeah, I would agree. And Had Shawnee's it. in the net. Oh, Shawnee's in the net. I thought it hit the antenna. Um, well, maybe you're right. She I'm obviously wrong. Yeah, no, she signaled numbers. It went. It, well, it was in the net. Willow blocked that one. Cooper blocked that one, and then Griffin puts it away. 16-13. Need to stop this run. Little Jack serves. And tipped out of bounds. 17-13. Timeout, Shawnee. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Liberty Benton has taken a four-point lead in set three. Earl Jack will serve. That was a Shawnee timeout. Cooper. That hit was by Handy Wells. And there's Cooper. Yeah. Kelly Cooper comes through out of the timeout. That's what they needed from her. They need a few more of those. Carly Hutchins serves this ball to Spice. Willow adjusts her step. And Freiberger gets to it. And Shawnee wants a touch. Nobody has it. Point Liberty Benton. Lauren Gherkin to serve. 41 aces for her this year. That's the most on the team for Liberty Benton. Well, it's that one left hand. And the point will go to Shawnee on the ping pong ball around. Maggie Jordan enters, as does Sydney Sula. Burris. Thank you, Sydney Burris. Nine and 19 entered. Sydney's my neighbor, so I know uh -huh. her. Karis Willow finds the middle of the floor, 1915. Point, Eagles. Annie Wells will serve. Alyssa has 40 aces this year. the 69 sets that her team has played. Off the tape. Cooper hit that one. Hit the block. And she hit it into Karis Willow. Eagles. Liberty Benton has been the Division Three, where they have won a couple of state championships, and now they're in Division Two. And they won last year. They did. 2016. District final is Thursday. Then we go to the regionals. That would be next Thursday at Galleon. They will play at 7.30. Not they. The winner of this district will play. Oh. Oh. Yep. It's a shame she couldn't get out of the way because that one might have been out. That will be Thursday. It's a 7.30 match. Perhaps against Gilmore Academy. The regional finals are the Saturday the 5th. That's at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Those are both at Galleon the Regionals. Here's Willow. Gilmore, Gilmore Academy is a regular state tournament yes. appearer. Ranked 5th in the final poll this year. 
Liberty Benton was 11th in the D2 poll. Willow behind the attack line. Henny Well sets again. A little mis mistiming, miscommunication yeah. with her and Sophia Barber in the front row. 21 18. Nestrick to Freiberger. If you want to get a point, don't hit to the person wearing white on Sean Easting. No. That's blocked. There's speech to set. Nestrick again. And Nestrick again. Tips it this time to Freiberger. Good point. Just fisted over by Nestrick. Good play by her that time. Hutchins hits it into the net. Good point, but Liberty Benton won it. Now, Liberty Benton doesn't make very many errors, so the longer the point goes. Spies got to that one, just tipped over that time by Collard. She gets a point out of it. Liberty Denton, two points away for straight set victory, moving to the district finals. And with that, Brooke Hutchins calls timeout. There's no admission fee to watch this game, but there is a cost for us to broadcast. Say thanks to viewer supported TV44 by sending a financial gift. TV44 relies on the donations of viewers to enable airing this game and other locally produced programs. Donate now at WTOW.com. And click donate. More volleyball this week. Division three from Kaleida. That will air on Thursday evening. And then on Friday, the Division four finals from Wapak will air along with soccer on Friday afternoon. A couple of soccer games Saturday that will air on Sunday. So lots of high school sports and, of course, football playoffs will air Friday night and all day Saturday on WOSN and WTLW. I just can't believe we're all ready to Isn't that something? basketball season practically here. Well, ladies practice our practice this week. And point Liberty Benton, 24-18, and one point to close this one out. And their fans will stand. They do. So we won't be able to see. Spee serves. And I think she they reached can reach across. Yeah. Exactly. Gherkin reached across the net while Maxwell was trying to play it. That's the point. Carver de Santiago will serve. One of two seniors for Brooke Hutchins. Gherkin, point. And Liberty Benton will move into the district finals this time with a straight set victory. Opening set was 25-23, second set 25-13, and third set 25-19. Shawnee will finish their season at 17-7. They were 6-4 in the Western Buckeye League. Liberty Benton will go to 22-3, and, and they were 9-0 in uh, the Blanchard Valley Conference this year. Deb, what do you think? Now, we've got St. Mary's in here, a very scrappy, gritty team. They'll play Liberty Benton on Thursday evening. Your first thoughts on that one? They're going to have a tough time, just like Shawnee did with the height and the size and the, the player ability of Liberty Benton. They're, they're going to have to step up and play their best match they've played all year. District final will be in here Thursday night at 6 p.m. I want to thank Finley Truck and RV for being our scoreboard sponsor this evening. I want to thank our crew. That would be Megan Sherrick, Lexi Waddle, and back at the station, Nick Fralick will edit this one together. The AD here, James Grandy and Phil Tavolino, they help put this thing together as well. And the good hosts here at Bluffton University, where we have enjoyed our evening. St. Mary's wins in five sets. Liberty Bet wins in three. You've been watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. <laughs>